Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we got Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum Suicidal. I also read uh, Chinese webtoons, web novels, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, one of the cliches in... Uh, Hello? Spooktown, dude. One of the cliches in a... Uh, one of the tropes in a, in a Chinese webtoon is... Uh, a very thin, translucent veil placed exclusively over the um, the lady's like chin and mouth. Um, covering it's like it's like from the nose down, like covering up the bottom half of the nose. This like very translucent veil. You can still see everything underneath it. It's like drawn. Um, and I'm like, I don't I don't know if like you know it's supposed to be opaque. Or if it's supposed to be translucent, and you're just not wanting to cover it up, like you know when somebody has a eyes drawn over top of hair or something like that. Um, like I don't know which it is, but it just looks so dumb because they just they put on this translucent veil that covers up half of their face, um, and then they're all of a sudden completely unrecognizable. And I think it's I think it goes even farther than just veils. In uh, in Chinese webtoons in particular, I noticed this uh, this trend this trope uh, where they'll put on something that doesn't cover them up like at all, like sunglasses or uh, you know like a mask that only covers up like around their eyes, like you know glasses <laughs> basically um, without lenses. Um, or like a translucent veil, or something that just doesn't really accomplish anything. Uh, and then people will just not recognize them. I'm like, I don't know why it's so prevalent in the in the Chinese webtoons that I read, but it's it's always funny when it happens. Cause I'm like, you just you didn't change. Nobody's not gonna be able to recognize you, but they're all just like, mm, yes, this is a new person, new person. It's not the same person. Um, other, like, uh, Korean webtoons do it on occasion as well, but typically when they do it, it also comes with, like, a change of personality, a change of, like, um, hi like, where you are in the hierarchy of politics, it comes with a change of, you know, like a lot, a lot of things change, right? It's it's more than just the 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 the, the, the tiny little face cover, you know. But uh, in Chinese webtoons, in particular, at least the ones that I've read, there's always one point where it's just this like nothing that covers it. They don't change like their name. <laughs> they don't change like you know their personality. They're like they wear the same clothes, and, and it's just like yeah, nobody will know who you are. You've put on a, uh, a nose cover. <laughs> like, nah, but it works. And every time I, I get a good laugh out of it. Like, uh, the one that I'm reading right now is, uh, for some reason the, um, so there's this one girl who's, like, the princess of a country and she's being married off to a prince of another country. She comes over with, uh, with... A maidservant, uh, and then her and the maidservant both wear, like, these veils that cover up from, like, the nose down. Um, and they're like, yeah, you pretend to be me for a part of it, and they won't know who we are because we're wearing these veils from our nose down. And I'm like, one of you has black hair and the other one has, like, light brown hair. What do you, what do you, what do you mean they're not gonna know who it is? And, and the funny part is, yeah. only one person finds out that, uh, that they did this. And, uh, and, and the, and the princess and her maidservant are like, how did you know? How did she find out? I'm like, you have different colored hair. It's, the, your hair is different colors. At one point in time, the uh, the veil was like being threatened to be taken off, and they're like panicking. No, you have to leave the veil on. I'm like, the veil's not doing anything. You, <laughs> one of you has black hair, and the other one doesn't. 
It, it's a very striking difference here. Like, you're not. But it was uh, almost an almost flawless camouflage. Almost, almost flawless. One person found out. And I'm just like, really? Okay. I'm gonna read it. It's like I'm enjoying it, but it's just uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a, a trope in in Chinese, like, um, m literature or media or whatever. Like I I don't know if it, if it's a. I, I don't really get it, <laughs> but it happens so often. And I'm just like you just. It doesn't. It's not. It's no. Like your your mask, like their faces, like their faces are drawn exactly the same, you know. Like it's the the faces look identical basically, um, and they're like you can't take the veil off. They'll know what's you. I'm like, how is the veil covering up? Like you're both standing here. <laughs> how is the veil? What's making them think that it's the princess? Like I just, I don't get it. And then she comes back the next day. I'm like, yeah, you just you have different colored hair. <laughs> What are you? What's the what's what's going on here? Uh, it was uh, it was a funny scene. I think it's going to continue happening. They're going to continue trying to like occasionally trick that uh, the maid servant is um, the the princess, just so that the princess can have like some freedom or whatever. I think is the moral of the story. But it's like your hair is different colored, like. It's not even. It's not even like a little thing where it's like, oh yeah, she has like a mole on the. No, like it's your your their hair is just different. Like they're they're gonna notice when when your hair changes color every time. You you show up to uh, an official you know meeting or something. And you go to like a party or something. Your hair is brown. You go to you know an official meeting the next day. Your hair is black. You go to bed that night, your hair is brown all of a sudden. Like, it's just, it's a little bit, it's a little bit silly. Could have, could have at least had this, like, you could have had the hair the same color at least, you know. Maybe then, you know, you could have had some suspension of disbelief and been like, yeah, you know, there just isn't enough detail to draw enough in the, in the face. You know, there's just, there's not enough, uh, you know, ability to do that in, in the, in the manhwa, but, ah, it was just. They just, they, they have different hair colors, and I'm like, what do you mean? I have no idea. It was, it was insane. Anyway, it's got like three and 350 chapters or something like that, so I'm like, heck yeah, bring it on. That means there is almost certainly a, uh, an original web novel. Like, anything that gets that many chapters is usually based on a web novel. Um... So I'll, I'll be able to read that when I finish it, and it also just means that there's a lot to read. So I'm like, yep, this is this is what I read for the next while. I'm looking at uh, Minecraft mods a little bit lately too, as of today, in fact, because uh, my friend sent me a uh, a chess made in like Minecraft with the create mod or whatever. It's a cool mod. It looks cool. Looks like it gives you a lot of opportunity to do stuff. It makes me want to play uh, modded Minecraft, but I'm like, yeah, I just I really. I can't add in modded Minecraft. Are you kidding me? I don't have anywhere near the time for that. I really want to, though. What I what I want uh, most of all is uh, is uh, Terra Firma Craft in like 1.12, 1. 1. you know, 14 maybe. Um. With, uh, with, like, tech mods, like, uh, Terra Firma Punk, but that was 1.710, I believe. I want, I want that, but... In, uh... In, like, in, like, modern Minecraft. Because Terra Firma, I've got a, I've got a video up, like, episode one of an old Terra Firma Punk series. Um, we had fun in it. That one didn't end up going through because, uh... There was no way for me to stop mobs from spawning in the base. Light didn't stop it, so I had to like give up on it. Got a lot of views, unfortunately, but uh, I, like I just I had nowhere to go with it. And then I like lost my computer, and when I came back, it was uh, all about KF2. Um, oh well, it's okay. I really should have just stuck with Minecraft, but I wasn't interested in Minecraft back then. You know, and that's okay. I'm glad where we're at. 
Um, I mean, objectively, I would be doing better right now if I, if I did Minecraft instead of KF2, um, like a year ago when I started with this, but would I be, would I be having as much fun with it? I don't know, maybe not. But I want, I want that, like a Terra Firma Punk, but for, for 1.12 or 1.16 even, maybe. Modern, modern Minecraft with, uh, with Terra Firma Craft and the tech mods kind of fitting together. It was a really fun mod pack, Terra Firma Punk. TFC in general, Terra Firma Craft, it's really ruined me with mods. I just, I can't really enjoy a mod pack without Terra Firma Craft. Um, it's just, it's such a fun mod, in my opinion. And it changes so many things about how the game works. It makes it, it may, it like really changes how you play Minecraft. And that's valuable to me from like a modded perspective. Anyway, it's gonna do it for today. Sorry for the shorter episodes again. I am in pain. So I will be leaving it. Uh, tomorrow I should be good. Um, sorry. That's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future comments. If you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.